below in this problem we have the equation of a line and we're asked various questions. Part A wants the point slope form which is basically y equals mx uh, plus b. So write this in this form. Uh, part B wants the slope and y-intercept. So m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And part C wants the graph. So let's go ahead and go through it uh, very carefully. So solution. I'm going to go ahead and uh, write down the original question again. So we have 3y minus 9 equals 0. And so part A wants us to write it in this way. So basically that means we have to solve for y. So we can just add 9 to both sides. So plus 9 plus 9. So we get 3y is equal to 9. We're almost done. Now we can just divide by 3 and divide by 3. That gives us y equals 3. I'd say, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> this is not in the form mx plus b. Ah, but it is. We can write this as 0x plus 3, right? Because 0x is 0, so you, you could do that. And so now we've technically written it in the form y equals mx plus b. Kind of a tricky problem, right? I mean, um, would this be correct, y equals 3? Probably, but I think it's better to see how it's actually written as mx plus b. It's kind of a fun problem. So that would be the answer to part A. For part B, we can just use matching. Remember, this is now in the form y equals mx plus b. So you see the slope here is 0. So m is equal to 0, and that's the slope. Right, the slope is equal to 0. And the y-intercept, so y-intercept, well, the y-intercept is the b, so b is equal to 3. So that's going to be 3. As an ordered pair, um, it's y equals 3. So, so the y-coordinate is 3, and the x-coordinate is always 0. So that would be that there. And then part C wants us to do the graph, and the original question specifically tells us to use this information to do the graph. So let's try to do that, and then I'll explain uh, other ways of doing it. So here's x, and here's y. So the y-intercept is 0, 3, so we would go right 0 and up 3 from the origin. So 1, 2, 3. And the slope is 0, so you rise nowhere, and then you can run as much as you want, right? If you think about it, 0 is the slope, and it's 0 over any number, so 0 over anything, <laughs> is equal to rise over anything not equal to 0, right? So 0 over any number not 0, it says anything. Um, so you rise uh, 0, and you can run as much as you want, so you run both ways <laughs> as much as you want and then you get your line. Another way to do it is to realize that whenever it's y equals a number, like y equals any number, it's always going to be a horizontal line, right? You see, when y is equal to 3, x can be any number. So like if x is 1, y is 3. If x is 2, y is 3. It doesn't matter what y value I pick, what x value I pick, y is always 3. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.